Technology is creating new physical and social environments radically different from those which the human race has adapted. Both physically and psychologically. If man does not adjust to this new environment by being artificially re-engineered, then he will be adapted to it through a long and torturous process of natural selection. Won't you come join us? It's not about the technology, really. It's about giving away our consciousness corporate rule, how we think, what we think. We've begun what I call the Great Cleaving. Meridian Corporation and Verisage are marked the means of our evolution. It's better to just dump the whole f***ing system. And to take the consequences. Chaos, proportional to evolution. The wonderment of the transhuman. Previously on Pioneer One. You are holding one or more of our cosmonauts. So you're not prepared to consider the Mars story at all? If we maintain our position that we're holding a terrorist suspect, then we should be okay. We're not going to find out what's really going on here if we send him back as a terrorist. And how can you make that call? Because I'm the one making it. Parents, have you stopped to consider why they would risk sending their only child back to Earth? I need evidence, proof. They need you to start talking. Sharing information helps. That's how science works. Unfortunately, it's not how governments work. You can't call me here. If I need anything else, I'll call you. You know, there's one thing I didn't include in the report. 
probably the best piece of evidence there is. The boy. Is that you? It's both of us. Well, I am not using that shower again. My foot is still killing me. Maybe it's infected. Put the stuff on it. What stuff? I don't know. Whatever stuff was in there. Don't worry, you still got the other foot. How are you in such a good mood? I am barely holding on to what's left of my sanity. It's a state of mind, my friend, a mind over matter. Mind over matter. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know, pretend you're, you're at summer camp. You ever been to summer camp? No. Oh. Well, then that wouldn't work for you. No. I wonder what that's all about. I don't know. They never tell me anything. Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Twos? Go fish. What happened? We caught him snooping around the perimeter. Someone from our fan club outside? I don't think so. Says his name is Alexei Chertov. Russian, I think, by the sound of his accent. He claims to know Dr. Walzer. Really? So he says. Walzer's name's all over the press. Could just be a nut. I agree. Let me see him. Tom Taylor, I'd like to know what you were doing sneaking around my base. My name is Alexei Chertov. I'm a colleague of Dr. Walzer's. I need to speak with him. Who's Dr. Walzer? I know he's here. I saw on the news. I'll consider it after you give us your full cooperation. I understand, but first, Miazzi should remove these restraints. I am not a dangerous man. You were caught trying to break into a military base that's under quarantine. You're staying put for right now. Why do you need to speak to Walzer? I believe I can be of assistance to him and to you. He says we need assistance. I have information you will find useful. Regarding? The Soviet spacecraft has returned from Mars. Alexei? He's here? So you do know him? Yes, 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 I do. He worked on the Mars program at Energia, Russia's equivalent to JPL. We met at a conference 12, 13 years ago. He wrote the foreword to one of my books. He says he has information on our Martian situation. Any idea how he'd know about that? No. Can I see him? I haven't decided yet. What's the harm if he's already here? I haven't decided that either. Taylor. Doctor. I understand we haven't had the best working relationship, but don't talk to me like I'm stupid. How does he know? You're right. I apologize. I contacted him a few days ago to get a second opinion on some things, but I didn't tell him what was going on. 
He figured it out on his own. How? Apparently the spacecraft was transmitting telemetry and someone picked it up. Once he heard I was here... Did you know he was coming? I told him not to. Thank you for your honesty. If you ever lie to me again, your next book will be written from the inside of a federal penitentiary. Get me? Yes. Now can I see him? How are you, Dave? Not bad. Yourself? Oh, never a dull moment. It's quite a coup your guy pulled off. Yeah. Yeah, that was a surprise. Though the difference is semantic, really. Please. When's he running? <laughs> Who says he's running for something? Okay. Sure. Fine. The secretary's focusing all his attention on the current situation. Spoken like the master obfuscator you are. I'll take that as a compliment. What do you got for me? Who's that? I have no idea. Alexi. You sure about this? Nope. I told you not to come. Yes, I am sorry, but the possibility of human being returned from Mars? I could not stay away. I've probably done the same thing. You said you had information. Yes, as I explained before, the capsule was sending its telemetry data. It was picked up by a receiver at Baikonur. Nobody knew what it was. Nobody knew what it was? No, we knew it was one of our own spacecraft, but no one knew anything of this mission. How is that possible? I don't know. Many things were worked in the secret in those times, but the magnitude of such an undertaking. It seems impossible, but I did some investigation and found curious submissions and records. Money, resources diverted and unaccounted for. I made inquiries. No one could answer. We're talking, what, 30 years ago? It could have been anything. It's not uncommon for Soviets to have mysterious submissions and records. But of this size, that's very unusual. Could they even hide something that big? I don't know. Can I talk to you? Jane says Yuri will be ready to talk when he wakes up. I want you in there to translate if he starts up in Russian. What about Jane? She doesn't speak as well as you do. In any way, I want a second person in the room to confirm what he says. You don't trust her? It's not about trust. I just want someone to be there that doesn't share a relationship with the kid. What about these two? I don't want them left alone. Yeah, agreed. Get the Leo or Vernon to babysit. They're not doing anything anyway. Which one do you want? Flip a coin. These people, do you trust them? Yes, but it's their show. They've made that very clear. Zachary, I must know. Do you believe? Is it real? I think so. Yeah. Молодец, бля, а? Thought you were lunch. I've got something better. Than lunch? I think we have some workable intel here. Have you ever heard of an organization called White Wolf Elite? That's a Russian agency, isn't it? It is, but it's not part of the Russian government. It's a private security firm. They helped round out the force that invaded Georgia a couple of years ago. Okay. It was founded by a man named Viktor Klemenko, ex-KGB. Ex-KGB, now there's a nice idea. True enough. After 91, he was one of the first to put a claim in on the collectivized oil fields, M.A. Billions. And now he's in the army for hire business. He founded White Wolf in 2000 after he became disillusioned with the direction of the new Russia. It's now the second largest private army in the world, second only to Blackwater. How disillusioned was he with the new Russia? Very. But here's why we care. A few years ago, White Wolf bought up surplus hardware from the Russian space agency. Rockets, capsules, a whole lot of material. So you're saying... Our favorite Martian is a white wolf guy? Not necessarily, but it's a good bet that's where the capsule came from. Any ties to known terrorist organizations or rogue states? No, but they're mercenaries. They'll sell to whoever can pay. This Klimenko sounds like a patriot. 
he wouldn't back someone if it didn't further his own interests. So we just got to figure out what they are. He's also a businessman. I wouldn't rule it out. You got this from your man at the CIA. Even the agency finds a nut every now and then. Okay. He says he's ready, but don't push him, please. You know who I am? Jane said you agreed to answer some of our questions. I feel like I should read a Miranda. Can we start with your name? Your name. Beauty. That's what we've been calling you. Is that actually your name or are you misunderstanding me? No. Yuri. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Where do you come from? Where is home? Under the sky. You had a note with you. It said you were from Mars. Is that where you come from? I don't believe you. Mr. Taylor. Believe? It's not about believe. What's it about? Dom. The toast of the answers. Dom. Home is what you carry in your heart. You had a gun with you. Do you understand? A gun to shoot things? Why did you have a gun? All the wolves. I don't understand. He said the gun I heard what wolves. he said. The wolves outside. They tell me. Who told you? Your parents? Where are they? Why didn't why didn't they come with you? Why didn't they come with you? Mr. Taylor, please. Why didn't your parents come with you? Me the statue. Me the statue. Me the statue. Me the statue. Not enough for everyone. God damn it. It's like talking to a fortune cookie. There's still time. You really think we're going to get anything useful from him? At least now it's clear to everyone we're not dealing with a terrorist. It'd be a lot easier if we were. Easier on who? We'll try again. Top air planitia. Baron. North polar cap. Good chance for water, maybe, they would never survive the winter. They'd have moved underground. They would have to, whatever they are. Eos Chasma. Good shelter from dust storms. Uh, and solar radiation, yes, but... Too soft and unstable for a landing, you're right. I wouldn't rule it out, though. I am telling you, foothills of Syria Planum. Protected, maybe buried water. It is only sensible. I can't believe we'd miss them in Syria Plainum. That area's been mapped down to the square meter. 
We'd have seen something there by now if that's where they were. Underground, my friend. Underground. I can't believe they'd be able to dig out underground habitat. Do you have any idea of the weight requirements for a drill that size? Natural currents, the drilling could be minimal. And you do not know what equipment they have. You really think they could have developed a whole new generation of super heavy lifters without anyone knowing about it? Unlikely. Multiple launches with smaller boosters. Yeah. Look, making use of existing technology is the only I viable way. I have read way. your books. Then you know I'm right. Of course I do. Then why are we arguing? Who's arguing, Zachary? You can be a real son of a bitch sometimes, you know that? Yeah, <laughs> this I know too. <laughs> You'll have to forgive us, Mr. Vernon. <laughs> My father is Mr. Vernon. Call me Glenn. My sound to you like we speak another language. What are you doing exactly? Well, this is water taken from inside the capsule. This gas chromatograph will show us the deuterium hydrogen ratio to determine whether or not it has come from Mars. And we've known since the 70s that the D to H ratio on Mars is different from Earth's. Mars has a completely different chemical history. Yeah, and hopefully this Hirovina will demonstrate this. If it's not contaminated. Yeah, but as you say, is worth a shot. And if we can prove that this water came from Mars, then maintaining life on the surface would be possible. More than possible. Where there's water, there is potential for life. It would certainly change the game. There's even some evidence that water still flows on the surface during the summer season. <clears throat> Speaking of uh, water flowing, nature calls, gentlemen. Zachary, the boy. Yuri? Yeah. Have you spoken with him? He's only just started talking. What is he like? Small. Frightened. Of course, they're ideal. Can you imagine? I have, many times. When can I see him? I don't know if that's possible, Alexei. You didn't make a very good impression showing up here the way you did. But I'm here now. What harm can I do? That's not how these people think. I'll talk to Taylor. Absolutely not. I know it was a mistake. You think? I'm sorry if it made things inconvenient for you. Inconvenient? I don't think you understand that word. I realize the position I put you in. I don't in. think you do. This thing is so much bigger than what you think. No, it's bigger than you think. Please, I've had it up to here with your bullshit. Maybe you wouldn't have such a huge chip on your shoulder if you learned how to work with people instead of talking down to them all the time. You're right. Don't forget that I'm the one that brought you here in the first place and that I'm the one that, what did you say? You're right. Is this some reverse psychology thing? Why do you think I'm not still married? Did you talk to Yuri? Yes. What did he say? Nothing very useful, but I think you might be right about the parents, why they sent him alone. Let me talk to him. I spent time with him, I think I can engage him. There are only four days left in the quarantine, and who knows what happens to Yuri then? don't have a lot of time. What is there to lose? I'm sorry it's taken so long to meet in person, Minister. Please, no need to stand on ceremony. Call me Pierre. Pierre. And before we begin, I believe congratulations are in order. Congratulations for? Your promotion. Oh, yes. Thank you. And I wanted to thank you and the Prime Minister for your patience with us during all this. The press hasn't been so kind to you. Please, by next week they'll have forgotten the whole thing. <laughs> Probably. Anyhow, did you get a chance to look over those documents we sent you? It's fascinating reading. But I'm afraid I don't see the relevance. Don't see the relevance? It's relevant because there's a likely connection between this white wolf and the downed capsule. Supposition. It's the best lead we've had. We need to follow up on it. It's a tenuous connection at best. Almost two weeks of investigation has revealed no evidence of foul play. The Russians have given us their full cooperation. This White Wolf is a private entity. If they were conducting an operation or doing so on behalf of somebody else, do you honestly believe the Russians would admit to it? There's no reason not to take them at their word. At their word? That this guy is some long lost cosmonaut from outer space? This space nonsense was your pretense for this whole quarantine. But that doesn't matter right now. 
You can investigate whatever you like, of course. But the Russians have requested the return of their man at the end of the quarantine, and we intend to turn him over. Unacceptable. He is our only link to whoever's behind this. And we're not giving him up. Make no mistake. My visit is a courtesy. Call the White House. This quarantine is over. Come, my friend. You're about to witness one of the most important discoveries in all of history. He's not kidding. Well, what are you looking for? Uh, elevated levels of deuterium. Heavy hydrogen. Any moment now. Uh. What? Inconclusive. It was a long shot. So the water's not from Mars? It still could be. We just can't tell for sure. At least not with the equipment you have here. Have you checked inside the reentry capsule for traces of regolith? The pressure suit was covered in dirt, but it was contaminated at the crash site. Ah, uh, your skin cold blood. <sighs> Dr. Walzer? They're ready for you. Hello, Yuri. Remember me? Chuda. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah. I'm sorry. There. We're doing everything we can. Ask questions. was water in your capsule. How did you find your water? Around the pit. The pit? Everything. From the pit. You mean from the ground, from under the ground? Water under the ground? Eight leaves in the pit. Lives? What lives? Was there life there? Water brings life. How did you live? On the surface? Inside? Inside? Under the ground? Later. Inside. Always inside. Outside is danger. Yes, outside is dangerous. Uh, did, did you come here on purpose to this place? Did, did you crash here on purpose or by accident? Accident. By accident. It didn't separate. Yes, yes, that's right. The capsule didn't separate. The whole thing came down. He had to choose. Choose? What did you have to choose? What did you choose? Choose how to live. I don't understand. What, what does that mean? I don't understand what you mean. Yuri, explain to me what you mean. Yuri, OBS me no. Something's wrong. <laughs> For years, 
years I have said that radiation is the primary danger. You were saying it's acceptable risk. Do you see now? There are ways to mitigate the effects of radiation on the surface. This doesn't mean that living there long term is impossible. And what if solar flares in transit? You're always talking, go, go, go. Look what happens. I didn't send him there, Alexei. He's dying. What does it matter now? Do they know when he'll be able to talk again? Give us the room, please. Before we went in there, I was on the phone with McClellan. He's ending the quarantine early. When? Tomorrow morning. The Canadians want to turn Yuri over when the clock runs out, but McClellan doesn't want that to happen. Tonight, we're going to load him onto a truck and slip out of here as quietly as possible, assuming he lives that long. Has this been sanctioned? He says it comes directly from the White House. Well, that's it then. That's it. What do you need me to do? Figure out who needs to know and get them up to speed. Don't let Benton get wind of anything. Don't worry, I know how to handle Benton. Thank you, Sophie. Things will kill you, you know. Thanks for the tip. Never understand why people still do that. Science has been around for 50 years. People don't listen. Science isn't everything, Doctor. You don't believe smoking will kill you? No, I'm saying that dying isn't necessarily the worst thing that can happen to somebody. Tell that to that kid in there. Did you want something? I, uh... guess I wanted to thank you. For allowing me to see this. I'm not gonna be able to tell anybody, am I? Probably not, no. It's not really fair, is it? He comes all this way beating appropriately astronomical odds. Kid could have been telling you exactly what you wanted to hear in there. Have you considered that? You saw him in that bed. I did. What possible reason could he have to lie? I don't know. You look me in the eye, and you tell me right now that you don't believe he's really from Mars. I might find you here. Here I am. Ah. Uh, I know you were getting close with them. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm fine. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but I'm... I'm sorry. I work with cancer patients. I know how this goes really fine. Right. Do you know what they're going to do with him? No. No, they, they never tell me anything until it's about to happen. I'm going to stay with him, though. For as long as they'll let me. Dalil. Something's up. I think she likes you.
Okay, you all know by now the quarantine is ending tomorrow, but I've made a decision and I thought all of you should know. Tomorrow morning, we're going to hold a press conference. Then at that press conference, we're going to tell the world what's really been going on here for the last two weeks. What are we telling them exactly? That we have evidence that the Soviet Union may have sent people to Mars in the 1980s and that we have recovered one of those people. We're going to lay out everything we know and let the world decide for themselves. Vernon, I need you to call all your contacts, call everyone you know, get as many people in here tomorrow morning as possible. To Leo, I need you to work with Dr. Walzer on language for a statement. Can we have the room, please? No. Sophie. Tom, no. I've made up my mind. You can't do this. Your career will be over. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that no one No kidding. Before. You can't do this. We have instructions from the White House. McClellan's scaring them into Really? This. Were you in the room for that meeting, were you? You know what's going on here. It's politics. They don't want to look weak in an election year. Are you really going to get up there in front of the whole world and tell them that we have a real live Martian in here? I'm going to tell them what we know. From there, it's out of our hands. Look, I know you've been frustrated, but this is a mistake. I'm telling you, you are making a mistake. I don't think so. You must be happy. Happy? Happy's not the word. Tomorrow, everything changes. Think so? For better or for worse. I'll be with you in a second. I'm in the mess. events that become pivot points in history. We had no idea what was going to happen, and we had no idea the price we'd pay. We just did what we thought was right at the time, and I would do it all again, even knowing the consequences. <laughs>